Hello YouTube, thank you for stopping by. My name is Evan. I, as you can see, we have fallen down the rabbit hole. I went with the whole Alice in Wonderland vibe given the content of this video, which is going to be focusing on uh, Right Rabbit Candy again. I just posted that video five days ago, and it already has over 700 views. I haven't been watching it. So, uh, if you are returning to see this video after having watched that one, I thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. Today I'd like to try some of the varieties of white rabbit candy that you can't find here in the States. Anytime you're exporting items out of the country, try to, food items in particular out of any country, it's difficult. But with China specifically, there's a lot of red tape involved with that. Long story short. But where there's a will, there's a way. I want to try some of the different varieties. As a palate cleanser, I'm going to be going ahead and using uh, lemon tea as a palate cleanser to remove the taste of the previous candy. So let, let's just get right into this. So first I'm gonna try, first I'm gonna try corn flavor. The corn flavor, so gonna, I guess this is a first impressions video, so I'll go ahead and open it up for the first time now. So the interesting, oh, as always, the Asians do really good with their packaging. So that's a given. There we go. Rice paper wrapping is there. It, it tastes like sweet corn. It tastes like sweet corn. Like, it tastes like actually like you're eating corn. Like eating sweet corn. That's what this tastes like. I was thinking maybe it would taste like the candy corn. That it, it isn't the case. I like it. Interesting flavor. Interesting. White rabbit chocolate creamy candy. I have scissors. I, I like the packaging. I like a lot of Asian packaging, a lot of Asian design work. I, I'd like to try to save the packaging. I know it's weird, but look what you're watching right now. And so, <laughs> we're gonna just cut. Like ice cream, like like store but like grocery store bought chocolate ice cream. It's it's not like Tootsie Rolls. This is ice here actually. As the Tootsie Rolls, I want to go ahead and bring those in to try that. I want to try to compare the two. And so here's the Tootsie Roll, of course. Tootsie Rolls are much softer. The issue with that I have with the, the White Rabbit is that it just they've been cooked to a higher temperature, I believe. They're just harder. It's similar to a kind of like a, not as hard as those now and laters, but they definitely are definitely not as soft as these Tootsie Rolls. But the flavor, again, is much is much better. We've definitely followed the White Rabbit down the rabbit hole with this one. Red bean creamy candy. So here's red bean flavor. <laughs> okay, look, oh, wait, here we go. Let's go with the, the lemon tea. There's that. Right? We'll see with this.
not so bad. This is not so bad. You just like the bean burritos that you like bean burritos with some sweet, like something sweet added to it. In this case, sugar cane. But. <laughs> That they're kind of an, an, an off, an off uh, aftertaste, but it wasn't as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. Interesting. <laughs> it wasn't as bad as I was going to think. It, it's kind of, I, I was, again, again, I was expecting some fear factor, like that show Fear Factor, expecting to be kind of creepy, but it really is not that bad. I, I like the packaging. Kind of sepia colored package with it. That's bad. So now we'll go ahead and move on to the last one, which is the cool creamy candy. Oh, I can Let me show you something real quick on this. <laughs> I like how it shows the, the rabbit, if you can see that, the rabbit recycling. Oh, maybe it's like trying to say, remember to not be a litter bug. The, the, the mint is, is a little bit more subtle. It's, it's, I, I was expecting it to be more pronounced, but it, it isn't. But it's there, definitely. But it isn't it's like overpowering. So if I had to pick a favorite, I probably would say that my favorite is going to be the chocolate. Definitely is going to be the, uh, the chocolate one. My second one would probably be then the sweet corn. I guess it'd be the uh, corn flavor cream of candy. Then I, I, because I was also surprised, I would go with the third. I would say the red bean as the third. I'm gonna go with the red bean as a third. As a third one. Interesting. It, it leaves uh, the aftertaste is odd, and you may want to use a mint to maybe mask that or to brush your teeth or something like that. But I, it, it was I, I actually like these third, I would say. And then I would go with mint last. I wasn't all that moved by it. I mean, there was nothing really all that different or unique about it. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with that either. They should have their Chinese should have their mint flavored candies as well as the rest of us do. But it really wasn't all that. I guess being an American trying Chinese candy, I guess you're maybe expecting something different. And that was the case with the chocolate, the creamy corn, the corn, and the red bean. So that wraps that up. Uh, again, thank you for joining me today. Again, thank you again for people who watched that first video. Uh, we'll see how this one does, and uh, I'd like to continue with this series as well. But uh, that depends on if you all want to keep seeing more. Right, right again. Thank you for stopping by.